You could call them the Fort Knox of information. They are the data centers that you interact with with all of your data these days. It's where they go when you're searching the web, buying lunch with a credit card, or even backing up your music and photos. They go to the cloud. You're trusting these data centers to keep all of your personal information safe, but just how safe is your information? This morning, John Kovac from the global, he's the global head of data centers for Siemens. He joins us live from New York. John, good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, first, let's talk. I, I had my Twitter account hacked this week, and I was so upset about that hacking. You take all of this information, you send it up to a cloud. How is it kept secure, and where is it? Well, the cloud is really just um, a, the ability to access that data that you need, but the data has to reside somewhere, and that somewhere is a data center. And a data center is a can be a huge building, uh, it can be in all shapes and sizes, but some of them are absolutely massive, bigger than a football field. Hmm. Um, and there'll be rows and rows and racks and racks of servers where that data is stored. Um, as far as the security aspect, it really starts even at the physical security of the building. You'll have fences down to uh, really sophisticated technology like uh, biometric identification or iris scanners to make sure that only the people that need access to the servers have access. Now, um, uh, talk about the benefits of sending your information to a cloud because I'm so hesitant to release my information or any of my, my product somewhere else. I try to keep it on a hard drive at my house. What are the benefits to having a cloud? Well, you know, the benefit of the cloud is that I mean, these, uh, the owner, data center owner operator, what they care about is making sure the data is always available whenever you need it. So um, there's all kinds of backup systems. If the utility goes out, there's backup power, redundancy there. There's, um, there's backups that you can be even shift data from one facility to another if there's, say, a hurricane. Um, you know, one of the risks of storing data on your own, and I keep a backup drive at home, but the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is, is if I had a fire at the house, that drive's gonna burn and then my backup's gone. Um, but a data center tries to, the, the owner operators try to predict any possible thing that could occur and have redundancy systems in place to make sure that data's ba backed up. Now, someone put it to me this way, you know, you, 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 someone used to physically come up and, and steal your information. Now it's a digital world, so you're at risk no matter what you're doing, but you try to minimize that risk as much as possible. How does that change with new technology coming with the smartphones and having information readily available so immediately? Does that change the data centers and their capacity in any way? Well, you know, 90% of the data worldwide was created in just the last two years alone. Wow. Um, so you know, we're building a lot more data centers than we used to. The fact of the matter is, is that just like your laptop's a lot more powerful now than one you may have had a few years ago, so are the servers and the data centers. You can store more items in the same amount of space, but it's growing so quickly. We are building more than, than uh, are currently in existence, and we see that continuing for some time. These buildings, you talk about where these servers are located, where are these build buildings physically? physically located, are they all, are all around the world? There's over a half million data centers worldwide, so chances are is that, actually I know there's some nearby you guys there in Detroit, mm -hmm. um, and they're all over, rural areas, uh, urban areas, they're, they're really all over the country and the world. Uh, John Kovac, the global head of the data centers for Siemens, thank you very much for your time, and please protect our information. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, that interview was sponsored by Siemens.